Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. While I'm sitting here at the computer, I was listening to a live stream. I uh, put it on mute for a few minutes while I do this. Uh, I was making some things and I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to film this. Now, this is a subject that some of you might think is disgusting. But it's a needful thing on the homestead, especially if you have little to no money. And I am making reusable toilet paper. And I'm using this uh, material that's like a baby receiving blanket material. And um, you can also use bath cloths. And I had thought about uh, getting some bath cloths for this. But I thought, you know, I'm going to do this for right now. And uh, because bath cloths or terry cloth and sometimes they're uncomfortable uh, and this is a real soft cloth so my aunt when I was a child I was over there one day and uh, she lived off grid and she cooked on a wood stove and she washed by hand and everything and she was washing clothes and I seen a little container separate from the other baskets of clothes that she had uh, you know, she has whites in a basket and colors in a basket. And then she had this little bitty container and it had bloody cloths in it. And I said, um, what is that? And she said, that's my minstrel cloths. And uh, she kept them separate. And they was made of a, a different material. And, um, well, it was a cotton material, but it was a different color. And um, she used them for her minstrel cloths and then kept them in a little container by themselves and washed them separately. And so um, the pioneers did that. And even the Bible talks about the bloody cloth. And so um, this is homemade toilet paper or reusable toilet paper, which is not paper at all, but it's a cloth. Now, if you was going to use um, uh, bath cloths, Get a bath cloth that is totally different color than what you would clean with and and use for your body. I only buy white bath cloths for bathing. I buy a different color bath cloth for my uh, cleaning, like tubs and sinks and uh, counters and all. And then I use a different color bath cloth for my commodes. And... Uh, you know, so so that um, even though you're using homemade cleaners, even and it's vinegar and stuff like that that's uh, deodorizing and disinfecting and things. I just like to keep my clothes separate. I know maybe it's just me, but I wanted to uh, have just an uh, a tan or a brown or a cream color for my. Uh, reusable toilet paper now you can use this for both number one and number two uh, when I was a young and had my daughter that was at the area she was born in 73 and at that time uh, I used cloth diapers and when she'd go number two well, I would just you know wash them out in the pot and um, then throw them in my little bucket of water to wash separate from my clothes but um, anyway you could use this for both one and two but I am just going to be using it for number one and I will the way I do I will fold it in half and then fold it again like you do a bath cloth and that would be a, a real nice size and this is probably a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 I don't really know I didn't measure it I just took a, my material and uh, about two yards, and that's going to give me about 24 cloths this size. I just folded it in half and cut it and then folded it in half and half and half, you know. And, and so I got about 16 for a yard. So I'm going to have um, quite a few. I got two yards. But, yeah, you can, this is really soft. And you go to the bathroom and you wipe, and then you can turn it around. And if you don't want to touch that side, instead of when you wipe, 
you can just open it up then and fold it over and then you won't be touching any liquid and wipe on the other side so anyway in two wipes and you ought to be uh, fine and then put it in a little uh, container separately like I'll have a garbage can on one side of the pot and then the other side I'll have a little garbage can or container for my uh, toilet cloths anyway and I know some of you may be thinking oh what a disgusting thing but you know how much this is going to save toilet paper is three to five dollars for a four roll pack and that only lasts about a week these will last four years so do the math it's um, you can clean them just as clean as you can clean anything else I mean your clothes get sweaty they get filthy they get poop on them from animals and and uh, you know chicken poop cow poop goat poop whatever and you don't seem to mind that so even if you wanted to use them for your own uh, number two um, that's what they're there for and so since I'm doing the pioneer way I am learning all I can about the pioneer way and I'm trying to think like I was thinking you know what if there wasn't any toilet paper what if we couldn't go to the store and get toilet paper what would we do and I thought Oh, I remember my aunt used cloths. So, that's what I'm doing. I am making reusable toilet paper. You like it? <laughs> that's great. If you don't, I'm sorry that you don't like it. I'm sorry if it offends you that someone would actually make toilet paper to be reusable. But hey, that's the way it rolls on the homestead, doing it the pioneer way. So till next time, keep homesteading.